What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. Today on the channel we're doing a viewer requested video. We're going to go over my trunk detail kit and how I keep my car clean while I'm on the road. Uh, if I, you know, I live uh, almost 100 miles from a major city, so uh, to go to any car show it takes a long time to get there and I usually hit a uh, self-serve car wash before I get there, make sure my car is ready to go. So those of you who are looking for recommendations on your little trunk kit, stay tuned. Alright guys, so my main goal here is to show you the kit. Um, this is a little bit bigger than a milk crate. Uh, you can definitely size down to a milk crate or two milk crates, something that fits uh, in the trunk uh, very well. Whatever doesn't roll around. I have some angle brackets in my trunk that I have uh, put around this so that it doesn't move around or roll in some pictures. So let's start off with uh, let's let's start off with the microfiber towels first. So I'm going to put a link to everything in this in this uh, box in the description below. Uh, and then you can check it out uh, from that respective company. I have uh, basically vetted all these products from uh, each individual company and I, I use what I like, okay? So this is the Jax Wax uh, drying towel. Of course, remember, never let a microfiber hit the ground and collect dirt. But this is a Jax Wax mi microfiber drying towel. These things are huge. They suck up a lot of water. Um, you can do a regular size car with one. Um, if you own a truck or SUV, you'll probably need two. But I can do my Mercedes with one. Um, these run uh, around 15 bucks. So there's the microfiber drying towel. I have a high pile towel for uh, my quick detailers and stuff like that. So I can wipe on, wipe off. Um, these are very good towels for applying product and removing product. Next up, I'm going to go, these are workhorse towels from Chemical Guys. I use these for wiping out door jams, uh, wiping out dirty areas that get uh, nasty. You don't want to use your nice drying towel for those areas, so you have the workhorse towels for that kind of thing. Use these for bug and tar remover, windshields, uh, back of mirrors, things like that. Next up is just some of these all-around work towels. These came from uh, Jax Wax. Um, I really like these no-seam towels. They're just basically cut, just, just die cut right out of um, the piece of material. So these are awesome for applying uh, leather conditioner, uh, you know, st stuff like wiping down the interior with your, with your cleaners, anything like that. Boom. So those are my, those are my towels that I keep on hand. Um, I also keep a uh, tire dressing applicator. I think these come from Jax Wax. These are cheap. I always use tire dressing applicators like this. Um, and I keep them in a bag to make sure that um, they stay nice and uh, out of the way. All right, so first off, let's go through uh, what I like to use for tire dressing. So if you're looking for a solvent-based dressing, this uh, Jax Wax Super Blue is awesome. Solvent-based, I use it for black trim. I use it for my tires. Uh, this stuff holds up pretty well. Um, it's by, by all means not the best, but for as far as black trim goes, I like to use this stuff. Um, if your black trim needs a lot of help, I use their black trim renew. Um, I'm really a big fan of this stuff. Uh, stuff like older trim that really, really just sucks up like Jeep fenders and stuff like that. I put them on the Jeep. Um, Corvette, you know, the old 70s trim. I definitely use the crap out of this stuff on that. Um, as, far as, as far as tire dressing goes, the best thing I found is Car Pro Pearl. Uh, this is water-based silicon oxide uh, stuff. It's for plastic, engine, rubber, and leather. Um, this is really good stuff. It comes super concentrated, so you dilute it down and it becomes a, a watery substance. I've put a Chemical Guys sprayer on the top and I just spray it into the, uh, the tire applicator that I showed you just a minute ago and I apply it to the tire. My, by far my, my most favorite product for tire dressing. Uh, for those quick trips, I also use tire and trim gel from Jax Wax. This is a water-based gel. Um, it doesn't last as long, but I like the shine on it. Um, I think it does well, but 
course, Car Pro Pearl definitely takes the hat on that one. So it just depends on how I feel that day on what I, what I use. So moving up to uh, spray detailers and stuff like that, I've, uh, uh, you know, I really like the Chemical Guy stuff. I've just tried their synthetic quick detailer. Um, it says Extreme Slick Polymer Detailer. Um, I find that this is a little streaky. So on a black car, it's really, really streaky. Um, it doesn't work as well as Hybrid V07. So I like to use the Hybrid V07 uh, spray sealant when I'm wiping down the car. Um, just makes for a nice shine and uh, they come in nice little bottles and they're just all around good to carry around with. So that's what I use for spray detailer on the outside. Um, of course, I usually drive too far to do a spray detailer, but if I'm just going around the block, um, this is some good stuff to just wipe the car down. Of course, I have a matte hood, so I also uh, use Jax Wax's Wrap Star, um, and I've tried this meticulous matte spray sealant uh, from Chemical Guys. I like both of these products. Which one is the best? Ah, uh, I think I like the meticulous matte a little better. Um, they're intentionally made to take out any glossifiers that um, you know streak up on a matte surface. So these are really nice to take those oily spots out of it. If you touch any matte surface with your oils on your fingers, um, it leaves a mark. So this is really nice to just wipe it off real quick and uh, get it looking flat and, and uh, good again. So my uh, Jax Wax wheel cleaner, I like to spray this on before I hose down any wheel. Of course, I've got the wheel brush, the easy wheel brush uh, for any of my uh, you know, hard to reach areas, get in there and really scrub the rims while I'm at the car wash um, or my self-serve. So there's wheel wash. Um, as far as uh, sticking with the exterior, I've always been a fan of Turtle Wax's bug and tar remover. Um, I think these this is the best tar remover there is. Um, I, you can argue with me there's some other good stuff, but I like this for tar remover when maybe I ran through some grease or something on the road. Um, definitely a good product here. Um, also along those lines, I like to use Jax Wax Bug Zapper. It's basically a bug and tar remover. Uh, at the same time, uh, this goes on like water. Um, you have to have the, the, the car wet when you use this. It's the only bad thing. Um, you need to, to use this on a wet vehicle and you cannot let it dry. It will, uh, it will screw up your paint. So I, I don't know what's caustic about it, but it doesn't seem caustic when you're using it. It smells really good, but you definitely have to use a, it on a wet car. So that pretty much wraps up the outside of the car. Oh, I want to go over bare bones undercarriage protection. So I really like to spray this on wheel wells, especially that black plastic in your wheel wells. This stuff really darkens it up. It's like a dark purple. You can just see how dark purple it is. This stuff's great for making those wheel wells disappear. Um, I, sp I spray it all over the wheel wells and it makes it real nice and black. So I think that wraps up the exterior of the car. Um, Windows, I always use stoner and visible glass. This is probably the best uh, the best window cleaner, uh, glass cleaner that you can buy. I really, really like this. Um, people can argue me that all day, but I stick by this 100%. Another product used for inside that I love a lot is NextJet Cockpit Premium. This stuff smells good. It's semi-matte. It doesn't shine like your traditional armor all or uh, interior cleaner, I really like this product. Really awesome product. Um, I have tried this Total Interior chemical, from Chemical Guys. You can buy this stuff at Walmart. It does okay, um, but it's, it's not all that hot. So I have it in my, in my box because yeah, I, I carry it around. I use it from time to time. Um, it just depends on, on what I'm doing. Uh, if I just need to do a quick something, you know, I'll grab this. Air conditioner vent magic. Um, this is kind of a smell good a product. You spray this in the air conditioning vents. Jax Wax has always had this around. This one's a really old one, but uh, this is awesome for spraying in your vents. Keep them nice and shiny and uh, blow off that dust that's inside the vents. Very good product. For my leather, I always have used uh, Jax Wax leather magic. Very good conditioner. I really enjoy this product. Um, it goes on well, it comes off well. It's just all around pretty darn good. So um, that's definitely a good one for leather. Shine All, 
uh, shine all used for just about anything. I like to use shine all underneath the, uh, the hood of the car, um, spray it on um, plastics underneath the hood. It's usually what I use this for. So I'll keep this around for uh, engine bay detailing. Next up is All Clean. All Clean is a super concentrate. Um, I've left the concentrate in here. Uh, I've mixed a couple other bottles, but this is a super concentrate citrus cleaner. Um, it's for those really bad spots um, where I might have uh, got some grease on the inside of the car, it happens. Um, I've even used this for uh, latex paint because you, you don't realize you have paint on your elbow and you get in your car and you, you now you got it in the leather. This is really good for that kind of stuff. Nice citrus based cleaner, um, very good. Um, obviously paper towels for clean just about anything that would use a paper towel like the stoner uh, invisible glass stuff like that WD-40 because you never know when you're going to use WD-40 and of course I've got some smell good products from chemical guys that I like to use um, black frost new car smell I've even got some watermelon so it just depends on what I'm doing I keep this kit in the car um, always around to you know just for that on the detailing on the road and not necessarily uh, being able to be back at the garage and do a full detail. So I really enjoy this kit. I assemble it in no specific order. I just like to have it, uh, you know, have all my products available right there in the trunk. Um, and then I'll use this tote uh, here at the house because I don't necessarily keep duplicates of all these products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any uh, you know, arguments or stuff you want to weigh in or some better products out there. I know Adams has a lot of nice products. Uh, I've used some of their stuff in the past. Uh, I know that Jonathan from Always Up Too Late really loves their spray detailer. I've never really used it. Um, it's just one of those things where you find your, you find your, um, you know, your favorite products and you roll with them. So I really like the guys at Jack's Wax. They're awesome and they're local here to Columbus, Ohio. So that's why I've usually just stuck with them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the detailing uh, trunk kit video. If you've got any other questions or comments, put them in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And we'll see you guys in the next video.